welcome to this uh, seventh episode of my computer graph tutorial series. Uh, in this episode I got a suggestion to do a simple t turtle uh, tree uh, logger thingy, lumberjack. So uh, I'm gonna do that and uh, yeah, show you all the steps needed to do that. Uh, it is uh, very simple. Uh, first you obviously need a turtle. It doesn't need to be a mining turtle. Uh, I believe it could be uh, almost anything. Or maybe only a turtle with an axe and a mining pickaxe, but yeah, I just used the mining turtle because that works on everything. So uh, first let's uh, place the turtle down so we can uh, start making the code. And uh, let's... Uh, Move that. Okay, so uh, first let's edit. Uh, let's like make it lumber or something. Okay, so uh, at first we want to dig this block. So that's pretty simple. We just do turtle dot dig. Uh, actually, let's make this a function instead. Or yeah, we don't need that. So turtle dot dig. Okay. So that will dig this block, and it will move that block into slot number one. And then we could use that block to compare to the rest of this tree, so we know when we're finished. So first we move forward. Oops. So now we're under this tree, and then we could do a loop to check or dig up and move up until we don't see any more logs then we know this tree is finished. So uh, then we could do while and turtle dot compare up do. So while turtle compare up is returning true, so while this uh, log in slot one is equal to the uh, block above, then do a loop. So then we do dig up to remove the block above us, and then we go up. So then we can again, is, it there, is there a log above us? Then dig it up and then move up. Is there a log above us? Dig up, move up. And if there's not, then this uh, loop will end. And then we're at the top of our tree. So then we want to move down again. So then while turtle dot detect down equals false. So while there's nothing below us, do turtle dot down. And then uh, when we hit this ground, this will uh, return true. So we will break out of, the, out of this loop. So now it means we're back here again. So then we could do a turtle dot back. And this will move the turtle to the same position it started on. So uh, at the moment we don't have any uh, methods to, or if this turtle runs out of fuel, it will stop and uh, yeah, just stop on the spot and do nothing. So uh, let's first just test this so we know it works. So let's get some fuel in there, like that. And then we could do lumber. So it seems like that worked perfectly. Yeah. So let's just rename this uh, so uh, uh, label set uh, uh, guy. Uh, oops. Yeah. So uh, now we can move into this tree, and you can just type lumber, and he'll cut down that tree. We can add another one called lumber, and he'll cut down that tree and lumber and he'll cut down that tree. So uh, it's a pretty easy way to cut down trees you, so you don't have to go all the way um, or up in a tree. So for example if you have huge jungle trees it's a pain to go and make ladders or blocks beside it to reach the top. Here you can just place a turtle in front of the tree and run the program and it will dig the tree. So uh, let's uh, make it so uh, it can refuel, so uh, in case it runs out of fuel on its run. So for that let's make a function, so j 
just fuel. So uh, first let's check if our fuel level is actually low enough. So if if I do have enough fuel I don't really need to worry about refueling. So turtle dot, uh, or let's make it if, if turtle get fuel level. This will return the fuel level of, the, of this turtle. So it's less than T, 10. Uh, then, so if our fuel level is less than 10, then we want to refuel. So Terralot select 16. So let's make this 16 slot the fuel slot. Then Terralot refuel. And then select 1 again. So uh, the comparing can continue. Like that. So now we could simply just put in this uh, fuel uh, function on multiple places so uh, like so and yeah that should cover everything or at least the most important parts so let's put that in there probably won't see the fuel. Yeah, let's, uh, I'll just r remove this uh, fuel and uh, be right back. Okay, so uh, now I remove this fuel. So uh, now if I try to run this program again, it should uh, hopefully refuel itself. So I put the fuel in slot 60 and then type lumber. Then you see it refueled everything and it went up. So it worked perfectly. The only thing it grabbed everything, which uh, probably you don't want. So uh, to fix that, we can just change this function to refuel like, yeah, let's say two at a time. So now it will only grab two coal and then uh, continue on going. So uh, that's how you do a lumberjack turtle. It's really simple and uh, really useful as well. So uh, hope you liked this video and if you have any suggestions or uh, stuff you don't know about Computercraft or you want to learn then please comment and maybe I can do a video on them. So see you next time.